This is design challenge number five, the importance of an informal organization by team CEOs, Luis Rodriguez, Adam Kress, Jessica Dillon, and Benjamin Ford. After Mr. Wright organized his strategy, Martha said, I noticed that there is not enough funds to create a good show. Then John said, I feel that Lo Ping and Juan Perez are being tired lately. Mr. Wright started being suspicious of Mr. Bossy. Suspicious of Mr. Bossy, he asked Lazy, the accountant, Can I see the chart of accounts? I want to verify something. Acting strangely, Lazy replies, What for? We have everything under control. Everything is fine, super fine. His face was red. Mr. Wright noticed several unknown accounts and continued his investigation. He went to Lo Ping and Wan's office and asked them, What is happening here? Why are we not being effective? Lo Ping rapidly frowned and Wan replied, Mr. Bossy does not treat us right. We work long hours and we only get paid three dollars an hour. Later, Mr. Bossy went to extort Lazy. I need you to cover up some things I did in the system. This is an order. If you don't help me, you're fired. He quickly replies, yes sir. He needed to exploit Lo Ping and Wan and he wanted to exclude their hours from the system. In a meeting with Ping and Wan, he said, you each have values that you can bring to this company, and Mr. Bossy does not recognize this. My intentions are to expose Mr. Bossy and get you guys the pay and appreciation you deserve. But Juan replied, he told me if I did not help, he would have me deported. I can't go back home. Outside of the conference room, Mr. Wright said, okay, I'm going to create an informal organization in which we can socialize and get to know each other. Plus, you can whistleblow everything that Mr. Bossy does then report back to me with what he tells you. He would have to pay the nine ninety nine meal. Back in their office, Mr. Wright said, I am going to tell Mr. Bossy that we have a major decision that needs to be made regarding a new episode, and that I suggest you two pitch it and then ask for a raise. He will try to suggest someone else, but tell him I insist the two of you handle this. Si, sí, senor. Okay, replied both of them. After the idea was run by Mr. Bossy, he said, It's a good idea, but my staff will handle this pitch for the next step for the new episode. I have a better job for you two outsiders. He knew that he could save more money and have his million dollar bonus, so he rejected the raise proposal. After the conflict with Mr. Bossy, they returned to Mr. Wright with the news. He said that we have a team dedicated to preparing outlines for episodes, and he tried to give the work to someone else. Then he asked to do us to do more work than necessary. This is a clear indication that he's exploiting the two of you, said Mr. Wright, but Lazy was there. Lazy rapidly went to tell Mr. Bossy about Mr. Wright's plans. So kneeling down to his greatness, he said, I think they have created an informal organization. Informal? What? Hmm. Mr. Wright insisting that I use those two for this new episode is probably some sort of setup. I better make the first move. Mr. Bossy then went to their log cabin and woke them up with the bad news. I'm going to have to fire you two. You were late one day a couple weeks ago, he said. Lo, Lo Ping abruptly woke up and screamed, What? Juan, wake up! They knew they had to go the next informal meeting with Mr. Wright. In the meeting at less than $10 Burgers restaurant, Mr. Wright preached to them, He's trying to fire you on a vague technicality so that he's not exposed. Don't worry, we will fight this. You have your rights. I will lead, motivate, and decide the best way to make this right on our next episode.